didn't pause it there for a second. I'm going to run down and get the putty there, and uh, I'll show you what I'm using. Okay, I'm back. Set this off to the side here. Here's what I'm using now. It's a metal glaze ever made by Evercoat. Always get the blue hardener cream because red will leave black spots in your primer. Uh, even especially on these uh, small scale stuff. What I used to use, oh my god, it was the bomb. I still got some left, but oh, this stuff, man, it was great. You mix it up, you put it where you wanted it, and it just leveled out. Oh, it was great for big panels, big areas. Oh, man, it's cool. Can't get it anymore. So, I went ahead and switched. I switched to the Evercoat. Oh, we'll try this out later. I haven't tried it out yet, so. Looks pretty cool. Got a squeeze top on it, so it pushes, oozes it out for us. So we'll go ahead and set that over there for now. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and fine tune this other side here. Let's see if we can get it straightened out a little bit. Just like the other side. Remember, don't sand too hard because you might break that piece out, you know, that you glued in. You know, Pro Weld is pretty strong, but uh, you get it on a panel like this and you're sanding it, you're liable to, liable to knock it right out of there. There's a wheel well opening. Let's go ahead and sand the bottom up. Match it up with the rocker. Just keep in mind to sand it uh, uh, pretty level on the bottom, you know, flat wise like the other side. This way it gives you a nice flat edge on the bottom. And then I'll go in and we'll sand the back side, thin it out a little bit. Looks like we about have it. Just a tad bit more. Yep, we have her. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and sand the, uh, the areas that we glued. Make sure this thing turned out oh, pretty nice. Not bad at all. When you get to the bottom edge, kind of like roll it a little bit. It kind of wraps it around, gives it a little shape. You might want to do it now before you put the putty on, because uh, it's a little hard to shape after that, because you know, because it's built up. And this side really isn't too too bad. It's just we have to put some putty in there, kind of true everything up a little bit. It was the only way I came up with to uh, probably fix it. It's probably an easier way, but. I mean, I know you can buy a body that's in resin already for 72, but if you're like me, you don't have a lot of money, so you improvise. Do what you can do. I have I have plenty of parts and pieces and you name it, so I'm able to get away with it sometimes. Well, there we go. There's that side. Now, as I said before, I'm going to go ahead and go in and sand the backside. 
this will thin it out some so it'll match up with the uh, you know, the inside panel on the other one a little bit I don't want it as thin but we'll thin it up some that way after you have it painted and you lift it up and you know, it'll actually look pretty decent for the most part you know fine-tune the uh, edge here, smooth it out a little bit. As you can see, I'm rolling it. Well, you probably can't see it. But I'm sanding on the back side and I'm rolling it around. And sanding the front side, kind of go a little wide. That way you can kind of like blend everything together. There, now that's actually respectable. You know, compared to the other side, I don't know if it could be seen, because I'm looking at a little screen. <laughs> so, okay, well, got the passenger side done. Let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and switch over to the driver's side here. Let me go ahead and uh, sand that back side down. You know, at least this way I don't like it. It had extensive work done, you know. <laughs> Plus, you, this way you shouldn't have any uh, chassis errors or, you know, any voids. You know, that way everything just kind of like fits smoothly together. That looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and flip my uh, thumb board over and we'll go ahead and use the smoother side on the back. Kind of touch her up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and use the same technique, just kind of roll it over the edge. Makes it look really decent, you know? Pretty decent when you're done. Sorry about that. Like I said, sinus troubles and everything else. And there's that side. Not too shabby. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll sand her up a ways there along that door line. This way to make sure the body's all true, so everything matches up. Which I know between the two, they're a little, little, little bit different. So if I lose the door handles, I can go ahead and put them back in later. Then grab them out of another kit or something if I have to, which is not a big deal. Door locks, yeah. You can improvise. You can use a silver metallic sharpie and just put a dot there. It'll represent a, uh, a uh, door lock, you know. It's... I mean, it won't be defined, but at least if you see the dot, it kind of, kind of like an illusion, you know, like I did with the, uh, the foil, bare metal foil on the 62 Galaxy. So, that's it's shaping up pretty good. <coughs> Make sure the body's all, you know, as flush as you can get it. Because when I go to, <clears throat> I go to prime this and I block it out, you gotta find high spots. So to alleviate them, uh, you go ahead and you try to true everything up like right now. <laughs> 